Good morning Libra, welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. There is just one thing before we get into messages, general messages for you. Some of this video may not resonate naturally, none of it may not resonate naturally, but whatever happens, please only take the bits that resonate and leave the rest. If you try to make it fit, then this will just lead you to wrong conclusions. So I must emphasize that if it doesn't resonate naturally, leave it be, perhaps my next video will resonate, or perhaps if you cross watch who you're dealing with, that will resonate with you. Without further ado, let's see what's going on. Universe Spirits Guides, what does the sign of Libra need to know? What messages do you have, please? Well, patience, patience, patience. Hmm. You put a lot of time and effort into a particular situation, whether this is in, because this is general readings, uncovering work and your love life, family life, love and relationships, etc. But you've, there's, you've put a lot of time and effort, okay, and kind of spiritual and emotional seeds, even with communication, seeds you planted are now beginning to come to fruition. You're now beginning to see very very glimly starting to see the rewards for your actions okay there's there's a fresh start here but what i'm getting here you somebody you feel somebody is being overzealous you're asking them to be patient there is an opportunity here going forward okay i'm going to get and there is a person you want to <coughs> be with but Practically, you're concentrating on the here and now. You're dealing with practical matters, money, your home life, work. There is an opportunity here. You know it's there. You're aware it's there. Okay. But you just want to go forward correct. In the past, you perhaps feel you jump, you perhaps jumped into situations, was too quick to help people out, and it didn't work out. Okay, either people took advantage of you, or there was there was a lot of pressure there, and you were rushed, and mistakes were made. This time, you're not. You're being much more cautious. Even some of you to the point of procrastination. Now, there is one or two of you that are dealing with a situation you're perhaps waiting for somebody to make up their mind what they want to do, whether they're in another relationship, whether they're married, whether they have children. You know, you're, you're, you're getting bored with being the outsider. OK, you've had a tremendous amount of patience with this and you're, you're beginning to think, are they ever going to make up their mind? And on getting here, you've given, you know, somebody several opportunities hmm. you're certainly not looking at the future at the moment you're concentrating on the here and now i'm kind of getting one step at a time for a lot of you and there it is you're aware of that opportunity and this is how the cards are sitting so like i say it is at your feet you see it is at your feet and it's been a long time coming okay there is an opportunity here to come to terms with the past and get some kind of a reconciliation going and you know because you know we're talking spiritual energies here this can be somebody coming back on the physical sense but it could also be you making memories in tarot i believe we're dealing with a lot of pure energy here it, it can't be controlled and you know i'm kind of getting you accepting the situation as it is there is a fantastic opportunity coming in for you and you know like i said where you was asking where you was 
clear it decluttering your life from the past okay you want to start afresh you know circumstances money of of kind of kept you where you are at the moment but that's all changing now and you know you're you're kind of nearly there and what i'm getting is the old cliche you're free to leave Hmm. I am kind of getting that you are dealing with the past a lot now. Okay, as I say, decluttering, re-energising. You want to go forward with a clear conscience, a clear mind. And I'm getting here, there's somebody that you want to break free from. They, there's a lot of codependency there, or there used to be. You're, you're, you're detaching in a lot of ways from this person. Okay. Or you have detached. And I'm also getting for one or two of you, there's somebody here from your past who is, who realizes what they're gonna lose and they realize they've got to offer you something substantial to hopefully keep you in their life, keep you in their midst. Midst. Mm, let's see more, more messages please universe. For a lot of you, I'm getting there's a great opportunity here, an invite of some kind, okay, to, with something brand, brand new. Yeah, you've been patient for long enough, you feel. You've been waiting for somebody to make up their mind, okay. This energy's been building up for a long time, but what I am getting is there is a situation where you are going to walk away from it, or you feel you must walk away from it. You're certainly detaching from someone. This could be a, a bold move between love and career. I am kind of getting that a lot of you are putting relationships on the back burner now. You're being much more practical. <clears throat> you feel you've been patient long enough. There is somebody new here. You are you are likely to fork in the road here, and you you want to before you actually make your choice, you want to detach from a lot of things in your life. I'm kind of getting there's a big attitude with you now. What's what's in the past stays in the past. There is a new beginning here. Okay. You perhaps felt your options was pretty limited in the past. But now your options are opening up. This new beginning is, is possibly, well, the gate's open. Spiritually, you're in a position where you can go whichever way you please. Get in here, decisions a decision that you're contemplating now or will make on kind of getting it will set you off on the road to many, many more opportunities and ultimately, you know, achieving your goals. There's somebody you're dealing with here on getting you have you've a very truthful conversation. Now, perhaps this is a parent Perhaps this is a person you're dealing with. There is certainly feelings there. There's certainly an emotional tie. Okay. There's somebody in the past been working very, very hard to hide the truth, hide their emotions. But now when they realise they're going to lose you, they want, they feel they must speak up. But I can see peace of mind coming in. What I'm getting is you becoming much more indifferent. Wow. Mm. You, you, there is a, the, you, your present environment. Okay, is 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 not. 
you, you, you can't achieve what you want to achieve in both in work and in your love life. I am getting a change of space here. Okay. There is, I'm getting, you are dealing with somebody who is married or there's definitely marriage and family life affecting your relationship with this person. Okay, and you, you, you're perhaps dealing with somebody with an addiction who's very narcissistic, very controlling. They want to keep you where you're at. But I'm getting that you are turning your back on that. You're becoming much stronger, you're becoming much more independent, you're becoming much more determined. There is a little, little ways to go yet, there's a little more work for you to do. But ultimately, it will lead you to victory. It will lead you to being at peace and in a place where you feel that you can relax and chill and just be you. There's possibly a conversation going forward, as I say, a very, very truthful conversation between you and somebody. This could be your mother. OK. You perhaps feel like a fifth wheel stuck in between your parents. All right. There was a lot of complacency in the past. But also I'm, I'm feeling you'll get, you're dealing with two different people with two very, very different opinions about, you know, how you should lead your life. You're kind of stuck in the middle. You are taking on board other people's opinions but you feel this is a decision that you must make for yourself. I could say you're at a crossroads. Mm. There is somebody in uh, uppermost in your thoughts and you're uppermost in theirs, but a lot of you on getting you, you, you don't want to be tied down. Somebody after a lot of procrastination and fear, okay, will come forward on getting fear of losing you. But what I'm getting most of all is, you know, you come into the point where you need, you feel you need to step out your immediate environment to get your success. And I'm kind of getting the news here. I'm leaving, etc., etc. Blah 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 blah, and explaining. What I'm getting is you will explain yourself, not out of necessity or justification, but out of pure cure, out of pure courtesy. You feel you do owe them that. You are certainly leaving somebody behind. Okay, you you've been going through a rough patch. There's been a lot of communication. Okay, but. I'm getting truthful communication now. In the past, I'm getting communication, which put you under a lot of pressure. There is some money worries here. I'm getting somebody you're dealing with is worried about money and the situation. All right. So whether you, you know, whether you're married to this person, whether you're living at home with family, whatever, there's there's money worries around this. Okay, and you have been going through a rough patch with somebody. Okay, there's been a lot of complacency, a lot of patience and a lot of waiting for the right moment. And that right moment is upon you. You're focused on the future. Okay. I'm going for a, going from a 7 to an 8 here. So whereas... You were focused on the past. You're now turning and you're focusing purely on the future. Rebuilding your life. Perhaps even journey into sunny climbs. But you're focused on your happiness. This is you being you. An enlightenment. Letting people know your intentions. But not justifying yourself. As I say, doing it as a pure curiosity. And there's patience now. And you're... You're doing it step by step. You're in no hurry. Mm. You know you'll get there in the end. 
King of Wands. Wow, success. Okay. In work, becoming your own boss. Or even if you're working for somebody else, impressing the hell out of them. And, you know, being successful in a lot of areas in your life. You know, it's... You're taking the leadership role. You're taking the initiative. But in work, big achieving the top of your game okay if you're training to be a doctor or something on getting going forward you will end up being a specialist a surgeon okay very good at what you do running your own business it, going through yes bad patches but finally achieving your goal the bad patch you're going through now you overcoming that you overcoming many many challenges I'm getting success here. You're getting your zest back. You're getting your drive back. So whatever it is you're going through now is like a catalyst. Thanks very much for watching.